Welcome to American Dream TV. I'm your host, Antonio Botero, and today we're in West Hampton Beach in the heart of the Hamptons. We are currently in the village of West Hampton Beach, just one mile from the renowned Dune Road. This area boasts some of the most beautiful, pristine beaches in the Hamptons, featuring homes valued up to $20 million. But today isn't about oceanfront mansions, it's about the commercial district and some of the local businesses and why they chose to be right here in the Hamptons. Located just 70 miles from New York City, West Hampton Beach was incorporated in 1928. We go from around 2,500 people in the off season to about 25,000 in the summer. This is the West Hampton Beach Performing Arts Center. It opened in June of 1933 as a movie theater. Now it's a not-for-profit that hosts performers to the likes of Colin Quinn, the Beach Boys, Ziggy Marley, Tracy Morgan, Sarah McLaughlin, just to name a few. We're here with Heather. She is the head of marketing for the Performing Arts Center, and we're gonna ask her a few questions, get a little more information. What is your favorite thing about this Performing Arts Center? My favorite thing about the Performing Arts Center is that we are one of the most intimate venues here on Long Island. We're 425 seats. Uh, anyone who plays on our stage, you're gonna have an almost front row seat to see them. Uh, it's like nothing you've ever experienced. We're a hidden gem and we're the anchor of Main Street here in West Hampton Beach. Couldn't agree more. So how does the Performing Arts Center sustain itself economically and how can people get involved if they want to? Uh, we raise half of our operating budget through donations. They can come through uh, patrons, donors. Uh, we also have corporate sponsorships as well as our board of directors. Uh, for people who want to get involved in the theater, all they have to do is just drop in, give us a call. Um, we're happy to walk them through what um, a sponsorship of a show entails and how their sponsorship helps to sustain the theater economically. This is local entrepreneur Justin DeMarco, who happens to also be a friend of mine. And this is his establishment, Justin's Chop Shop, which is a local butcher and specialty store. What made you decide to take over a friend's business and invest into a formerly what was Dean's Market and turn it into Justin's Chop Shop? So, uh, as uh, many young people, we uh, spent our summers out in the Hamptons, and West Hampton Beach happened to be the place that I would go. Uh, Antonio's familiar with John Scott's. The career I was entertaining going into didn't come to fruition. This butcher shop opened up. I worked at one when I was a child or a kid. I feel like a child. This opened up. I knew West Hampton Beach was a growing community. So I literally took every dollar that I had and borrowed some from my family and opened up the uh, now formerly Dean's Market, which was a legendary business in the community. That was 2011 and now we stand here 2024. How do you find that the local West Hampton Beach community embraces your business? In my opinion, there's kind of two communities. So there's the local year round, and then there's the summer a customer who comes in and will spend you know, 14, 12, 16 weeks here. Uh, what I try to do is really kind of you know, combine everybody together. I find that the local community and the seasonal community are basically the same person for me. It's just being involved in the community, I enjoy it servicing people and it just happens to be I do through their stomach uh, and it's through my store so well thank you so much for your time always a pleasure to see you love you love see you too soon. now we're gonna head over to Saltwater and talk to Joe DeMarco about his business we're here at Saltwater Long Island in West Hampton Beach and this is Joe DeMarco one of the owners so one of the things I wanted to ask you is um, why did you choose West Hampton Beach Village as one of your locations for Saltwater Long Island? I think West Hampton is such a unique place in the way it's positioned on the island it's part of the Hamptons right but you don't have to go way way out east and you're close enough to Manhattan the Jersey Shore uh, Westchester it's an easy commute to get here plus you're half mile from the beach here I mean you can't get better than that if I I could wish I was on the beach but this is as close as you can get Love this town, love the people and the community itself. Just felt really homey the first time I had a meal here to the four years later that I'm here now. What's your favorite thing about having a brick and mortar in the Hamptons? I think the best part about having a brick and mortar in the Hamptons is not only you get the local community involved, but you get such a diverse community involved. You get people from all over the world that come here from Europe to Asia. They all come to the Hamptons with the expectations of shopping, beach and everything in between. And on top of that, 
the local community when it is the off season here, which us locals sometimes love, you get them to come in as well and they support you. So it's such a supportive community, whether it's just the summer, the winter and everything in between. Thanks for joining me in the West Hampton Beach, out here in the Hamptons. I'm Antonio Botero and this is the American Dream.